Welcome to the series. This is where we learn how to build custom AI agents with latest Langchain version 0.3 and Python. In this video, we will build the new React agent with custom tools. We will no longer use the agent executor to build agents as we used to do it before. And we will use the agent creator function from LangGraph instead which presents us with a few challenges, but we will overcome them by building custom Python functions like the custom verbose reporting function. Let's get started. All right, so to begin with, we just uh, installed these libraries. And at this point, you can see that we are having the two new libraries brought up, DuckDuckGo and Wikipedia, and the rest are exactly the same as we installed before in the previous video. And while this is going on, let me show you this. This is where I'm setting up my OpenAI environment key. And to do that, I'm using a function called user data from Google Colab, because this is where under the secrets tab, Google Colab allows us to set up our secret keys, environment variables, etc. So once that's done, I can just bring that in and set up my OpenAI key right here which will work globally for this notebook. And meanwhile, the installation is done. And as you can see here, we're currently using Langchain 0.3.2 version, which is the latest, absolute latest. And these are the libraries needed. With that said, let's go build our React agent. All right, so let's get started with our new React agent. Initially, we're gonna focus on building the tools. And this is how we are uh, building tools according to Langchain these days. I'm bringing in the Wikipedia library, 3D print, and the tool decorator from Langchain Core, and the DuckDuckGo search wrapper from the Langchain community utilities. And these days, we just uh, use that tool decorator like this, at tool on top of our utility function, uh, and that turns it into an AI tool. As you can see here, I just used this DuckDuckGo wrapper to build the AI a search tool. And by invoking this function, this search DuckDuckGo.invoke and passing whatever we want to search for it. Here, I'm putting Donald Trump. And with 3D print, we're going to see the result. Let me run this. All right, here we go. Now we can see the result here that just uh, this tool just brought us. It actually gave us the title of the article and a snippet from the article, basically summarized version, and the URL of the article as the source uh, of whatever it's giving us, right? So this is the result, uh, you know, we're gonna pass along to our AI agent. Basically, once invoking this tool, this is the text our AI agent will use to produce our final answer. That being done, now let's bring in our Wikipedia tool. All right, so we just brought in our Wikipedia tool and I just disabled those uh, DuckDuckGo outputs here so that we can output our Wikipedia results here. And this time we're bringing in Wikipedia query run, Wikipedia API wrapper, and as usual, the uh, tool decorator. By adding the tool decorator on our Wikipedia search function, search Wikipedia function, we just turn this into a tool uh, and simply we just uh, invoke this Wikipedia query run function by uh, passing the Wikipedia API wrapper as an argument. And then we just return a wikipedia.run and that takes a text query. And here we just uh, call that function search wikipedia.invoke and pass our text query Donald Trump here and print that result out. So let's see, test it out. All right, here we go. This is our query. This is our results summary that Wikipedia function and wrapper brought us. With that done, let's move forward to creating our actual React agent. All right, so let's get started with our pre-built React agent from LangGraph. The reason I say that, is if you look here, there is no agent executor. We are you know, using create React agent from LangGraph and uh, chat open AI from LangChain open AI. So first what we do, we 
build our model with chat open ai as uh, the model gpt 40 and temperature 0.5 and then we create a list of tools that we created above search DuckDuckGo and search wikipedia and the reason they are considered as tools because of that tools decorator that we added to our functions and now we are ready to create our new react agent using create react agent from langgraph and we're going to pass our model and tools as argument and here we define our query tell us about us election 2024 and here we get our results in a message variable by invoking new react agent dot invoke and this is how we invoke it then this dictionary there messages and inside a list human query and that's where we pass our query through and here i'm using pretty print and i'm going to print out the entire message let's do this all right now so let's look at this monstrosity this is what it gives us right it's an incredibly huge set of answers that this new react agent gives us it has no verbose functionality no nothing so in order for us to look at all that we have to do some extra work for example let's disable this and bring in this guy right here so here we uh, we're going to only see the input query and our output message i mean this is because if you're building a you know chatbot you may need your input query also because the human query needs to be displayed in a chatbot so let me run that all right here we go this is where you can see the full answer including the input now if we want to narrow down even further let's say we only care about this output right so let's run that all right only thing we get is the output. fantastic right okay but uh, we have the result but the question is how are we going to know about the thought process of the react agents and what actions it took to give us this how about the verbose output like for example if you remember in our previous video we ran this agent right and we had verbose equals true and that showed us the internal uh, thought process and whatever it went through to create the result right but here unfortunately we don't have that of course uh, you know they want us to all to use uh, langsmith for details but then again you have to remember that langs langsmith is also a paid service it does have a free version but that has a limit right so here uh, let's take matters into our own hands right so what we do we create a custom function like this what this does is parses through that entire message output and step by step gives us all the details that we need i call it parse agent message this is a custom function this is not a tool or anything so now let's implement that in our output display just like this parse agent messages and then we throw in the entire message in there you remember that huge output we got so now let if i rerun let's see what happens here we go everything step by step from here we know the user input was what the agent decided to do to you know call which tools it used both uh, DuckDuckGo and wikipedia tool and this is the invocation using the, the query that we sent and this is the snippet it received with the url and here it used wikipedia and this is the page snippets it got and with all that agent's final response was prepared and that we saw when we did this just this output and again boom there you go this is the final output but with that custom verbose function this guy right here we got to see all the details that the agent went through its decision making process which tools it ran and how it worked so of course uh, once again we can use langsmith to see all those details that's why from the next video we're going to go ahead and implement 
Langsmith into our agent building process. Until then, thanks for watching.